Hey everyone, Scott Solario. Welcome back to Real Tech Talk. I'm super excited to uh, have my special guest, Kyle Whistle of uh, Whistle Realty. He is running probably the the best, one of the best businesses I know of and number one business in San Diego. And most importantly, he's a good friend of mine that I've known for a long time. So I wanted to have him on to talk about his tech, his systems, the things that help move the needle in his business. So Kyle, thanks so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to, to speak to the audience, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. We're going to talk about what, like Excel spreadsheets and day planners. Is that what <laughs> yeah. <we're gonna> <laughs> yeah. just uh, no notebooks, just <laughs> notebooks. This is how I, you know, yeah, that's how we run our business, right? And yeah. I'm like napkins and everything and post-it notes. Yeah. Ah, nothing like the, the good old days, the little napkin deals uh, up at the, the top of the, God, what's the, the what's the club. the club, man? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but, um, but yeah, tell us like, you know, I, I mean, as you've grown your business, you've probably gone through a million different, you know, different applications kind of to, to navigate and narrow down the amount of systems you have to use so that it's efficient. It's actually helping you and not clogging up, you know, the, the time. And as we know, you don't want agents jumping around in all different systems. You want to make things simple for them, you know? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, we've used virtually every system out there. I mean, we're, we're definitely one of those that we like to be on the leading, if not the bleeding edge of technology. Um, Cause I'm somebody who really, really values my time a lot to where I think about, you know, this, think about driving a car that's fuel power versus electric. And I've analyzed it down to where, you know, if you're a traditional realtor driving 20 to 30,000 miles a year, you, and you drive a fuel powered car and you know, most realtors are stupid and drive like big V8s or big trucks. You're spending one day a year at a gas pump or driving to and from <laughs> gas pumps. Like you spend 24 hours. A lot of people are spending like 24 hours a year just getting gas every year. Like I obsess over time. I think about stuff like that. Um, but I also think about how do we just save a few seconds here, a few seconds there. Yeah. Um, there was a really cool video that I'd, I'd seen recently where it compared like an iPhone 11 to like an iPhone 6. And, you know, I see people all the time. They still have these like old school iPhones. Like basically, if you have an iPhone that still has a button on it, like it's time to upgrade it because it showed like just going through a few different apps. I mean, how many minutes longer it takes when you're using an old school iPhone versus a new iPhone. Um, yeah. So like I obsess over that stuff, whether it's, you know, a day of your, your year that you spend at a gas station, or it's a couple extra minutes a day that you spend on your phone. Um, I'm somebody who really obsesses over, you know, the technology and, and how do we be more efficient with it? Um, and how do we leverage technology to make more money too? Because one, we got to save time, two, we got to make more money. Well, right. And, I, and that's what I was about to say. I'm like, well, you know, I love that. I love that about you. And, and we've kind of, I, I know we've talked about this in the past, but how do you correlate then that time that you're saving? Like you've probably calculated it out for all your team members or whatever. Like, how do you correlate that into, into more, more money and more deals or, you know, yeah. ROI? I mean, the right? easy thing to think of is just think about how much you want to make this year. Uh, most realtors have this number of like a hundred grand. And if you work 40 hours a week for 50 weeks a year, for, assume you take a couple weeks off for vacations, that means your time, you work 2000 hours and a hundred thousand dollars. That's $50 an hour is what your time is worth. So then you just start thinking about things like, let's think about that gas station example. If you spend, yeah. let's call it 20 hours, not 24, let's call it 20 hours that you spend driving to and from gas stations and pumping gas, 20 hours times $50. That's a lot of money. That is 10,000 bucks that you're spending because of the time you're spending to go do that. And then that's not even accounting for, you know, the time that you're wasting to like, you're on your way to an appointment, you're like, oh shit, I need gas. Now I got to get off the freeway and I'm, I'm rushing and I'm stressing. Like, and then you throw all that stuff in there. Like it's a no brainer to own an electric vehicle today. Um, so, you know, I think about that, but then think about like on the real estate side of things, what is it that you're doing? Like, what kind of technology are you using that's requiring you to do four or five, six different things um, in your business? So, you know, at the, at the, the hub of everything, it's all about your CRM. Like, your CRM is everything. That's where it all starts, where it all ends, and everything feeds in and out of that CRM. Um, so, I mean, that's where we start. Yeah. Um, and we've been with a few different companies over the years. We've tried some of the all-in-one systems in the past, and now we've decided to go all-in on Follow-Up Boss. Um, right. And I love Follow-Up Boss with 
there's really three primary things that I love about Follow Up Boss. One, it's very customizable. So the view that I have when I'm looking at Follow Up Boss doesn't have to be the same view that you have when you're in your Follow Up Boss account. It doesn't have to be the same as Lisa's, doesn't have to be the same as Chris's. We can all have a different view. Um, so there's a lot of customization that's available in there. Um, number two is there's a lot of automations. So it's very easy to say like, if this happens, then do that. Um, right so that it doesn't require a human to go do that stuff. Because let's be honest, like there's a lot of stuff in our industry that if we're relying on humans to do it, it just never gets done. Um, so the fact that we can automate some of those things is huge. And then yeah. the third biggest one with follow boss is the integrations and the fact that they play nice with everybody. Um, right. There's a lot of other companies out there that don't play nice. And that's where you guys can come in um, with real sync and kind of bridge the gap between a lot of those where you can take you know two kids who are fighting with each other and you figure out how to be that link in between that gets them to to play nicely with each other um we love follow boss because they play nice with virtually everybody out there um, yeah they they're essentially sales force of the real estate space like they'll integrate with everybody um yeah. so we can you know for example one of our agents can set an appointment and they fill a form out that automatically updates follow up boss it automatically puts it into google calendar it automatically triggers off a, a sequence of text and emails um, and then it automatically sends a follow-up form after the appointment to recap how the appointment went like all that happens automatically where a lot of us are relying on humans to go and complete all those steps manually which i think is crazy so um, yeah. follow-up boss is really the hub of everything for us um, and then we just start adding spokes on from there right so what would be and I agree with everything you said, which is awesome. Yeah. I mean, you need to have that automation. I mean, not only of people not doing the, the tasks, but then the the errors that you'll, that you'll run into or people forget to do things, right? Um, so if there was a couple other systems that you really rely on, what what were the what would those be that you use in your business? Yeah, so for our IDX now, we use Ylopo. Um, I'm a huge mm -hmm. fan of Ylopo. Uh, um, it fully integrates with follow-up boss. Like again, most everything integrates fully with it, but it has a lot of automated stuff built into it that we love. Um, yeah. Other systems out there, when somebody takes a key action on the website, then the next time you log into your CRM, it'll tell you like, oh, by the way, Scott saved a property as a favorite. Okay, so first I had to log into the system to see that you saved a property as a favorite. Then I actually got to do something about you having saved a property as a favorite. Like that's crazy. If yeah. we know you save something as a favorite, things should happen automatically. There's no reason that manual work should be required in that scenario. So they have an AI uh, text bot built into their system to where if it sees that you were looking at properties in downtown San Diego, it's going to hit you up and say, hey, Scott, it's Kyle's assistant. Uh, I saw you were looking at properties in downtown San Diego. I found a few that you know uh, would be a potential fit for you. Check these out. Let me know what you think. That's happening automatically. Like it's not waiting on a human to come get involved in stuff. So um, yeah. I love automations like that. I mean, that, that kind of stuff is huge. And then it's automatically letting me know in follow boss, like, hey, by the way, we engage this lead and it's adding a to do for me to make sure that I jump in and take over the conversation. So um, I love Ylopo for stuff like that. Um, and then I love the fact that when a lead hits our system, it's not dependent dependent on me to set up searches for these people. It's gonna automatically set up a search for these people. And then the right. beautiful part is if you started looking in downtown San Diego at properties and then randomly decide like, you know what? I don't wanna live in a high rise COVID, it sucks. I wanna go buy a beach house in Coronado. It sees that you start shifting your search from high rises in downtown to beach houses in Coronado. It dynamically adjusts that search and starts sending you beach houses in Coronado because it knows that's not, that that's what you are looking for now. Um, so like, I love shit like that. Yeah. Um, and then it'll also not just email you uh, property matches because we all know emails end up in spam or promotions or whatever. Um, it's also going to retarget you on social. So it's going to make sure that I'm getting relevant properties in front of you on a consistent basis um, to draw you back into the website to where at this point, like we're taking leads that are 10 years old and we maybe generated on Craigslist back in the day when that was hot. And yeah. now we're able to retarget them, pull them back into the site. And now, do I really even call that a Craigslist lead anymore? Or is that a remarketing lead? And so now we're at a point in our business where you almost have like an initial lead source and then like an ultimate lead source. Right. Um, and so we're at the point in our business now where you look at those two separately. Especially with the size so, of the database you have to be able to, you know, get some of those people activated again, you know? 
That's yeah, awesome. I mean, when we made our, our move, we had went from 62,000 total leads that were in our previous system. Um, after we scraped all the vendors, all the bad phone numbers, bad emails, do not calls, do not emails, uh, we ended up with 45,000 and we were able to match 31,000 on social. So we've got 31,000 people we're hitting with remarketing right now, which is pretty powerful. That's a really good match rate. That's like almost 75% or That's more than 75%. It's awesome. Yep. Uh, okay. So, and then any other, like when it comes to transaction management or, um, you know, other than Wilopo, like, like lead generating systems that, that you guys use? Yeah. I mean, we generate from virtually everybody out there okay. from Zillow and Realtor and Home Light and um, Fast Expert and Referral Exchange and all those guys. Um, the beautiful thing with Follow Boss is it scrapes those emails and auto imports the majority of those into the system, um, mm -hmm. which is cool. And then we have Command Bot from you guys, which helps too, where if we have you know somebody who just emails us randomly, maybe they got our info from a business card or from a flyer or heard about it from a friend and they just shoot us a random email with a click of a button i can now take the email from that random lead and push that into the crm within gmail uh which is really cool so yeah uh you know follow fossil group a lot of lead sources and auto import them in but then we also have command bot from um from real sync that we can get those leads into our system as well so that's been really helpful Awesome. Um, so we're using that. I'd say the two other, two or three other biggest ones we use a lot of, um, Sisu is for essentially our sales management. That's where we're tracking all of the agent's activities, appointments set, appointments met, um, you know, how many did we sign, how many we put under contract, all of that, really tracking all those numbers. Um, Sisu is fantastic for, you know, taking all of that data, giving us really nice visual representations, helping us understand like return on investment and cost per lead and cost for closings and all of that stuff. So CSU has been really good for that. Um, we're also using call action, uh, which mm. is a, uh, to, to say that it's just like a texting system or a calling system would be understating it grossly. Um, we yeah. use it to a lot of our lead nurturing. So our ISAs pretty much live in call action. Um, we love it because they have some of the most dynamic follow-up campaigns there are to where I can have campaigns that automatically fire off a regular text. I could send you my V card in a text. I could send you a still image. I could send you an animated image. I could send you a video. Um, I could send all kinds of different things via text, which I think is really important because how like no, none of your friends ever just send you like straight text over and over. They're, they're throwing GIFs in there. They're throwing emojis in there. They're, they're throwing videos in there. That stuff can help engage people a lot. Yeah. Um, you can drop voice else and people's thing and their inbox and then you can also set up stuff where like hey after this lead's been in the system for seven days call me it's to make sure that i call them and the system will call you and say hey kyle you got to schedule a call with scott and then it'll dial you and, and connect us together so um, there's some cool things like that to make sure that our agents are making their calls um, and then again that fully integrates with follow-up boss uh, which, which is, is awesome really cool too so we can actually do all everything we do in call action inside of follow-up boss. I'm not having to bounce between multiple systems right. because of, of how obviously follow-up boss plays with everybody. They really integrate with a lot. Awesome, man. Yeah. And so like, you know, if you guys were listening here, you can see the theme that everything automates with the CRM, right? Like that is the ultimate, you know, that way you're building your all in one essentially with a few different applications, but through automation. Right. So as you said, you're taking the human error and the, the you know the human follow up out of that process and allowing the automation to to do the work, which is which is awesome. Yeah. You know? Um, Kyle, any any anything else? Any parting words? Anything uh, new coming down the pipeline? From um, I know you you uh, work with EXP. Is there any uh, any systems that they have or anything that that you use that helps you guys when it comes to your brokerage? Yeah, I mean, we, they give us Skyslope, uh, which was part of the reason we moved over there too. When I was independent before, I think we yeah. were paying for seven, eight hundred bucks a month for Skyslope, um, and now with the XP, we get that automatically, uh, which is cool because it's a really good system for general transaction management and having all your files and your contacts and everything in there. Uh, it also has a digital signature program built into it, which is really helpful, so you don't have to go pay for DocuSign. Um, and then the one that's underutilized a lot is the task management system that's built into it. Um, so it's really good for helping keep you on track. Literally from the time we sign a, a listing, we trigger our pre-list task plan in there. 
And then once yeah. it goes active, we trigger our active task plan and our pending. And that'll say like, hey, three days after the listing goes live, then do this. Four days before the contingency removal date, do that. Um, you know, six days after you go under contract, do this. Six days before you close, do that. Five days after you close, do that. Like it can just really help keep you on track. So as you start to scale your business up, you can't just go off of memory anymore. You've really got to have, you know, a system of checks and balances. And um, yeah. it really helps provide that to make sure that we're dotting the I's, crossing the T's and providing a consistent experience on every transaction that we do. Um, and so the fact that EXP is giving that to us, so we don't have to go pay. I mean, that was like almost a $10,000 a year bill that we were able to eliminate when we made that move. Um, so that's huge for us. That is huge. That's awesome. Well, Kyle, I really appreciate you giving us all your wisdom, man. You've built an amazing business. So to hear it from you, um, you know, it, it goes back to you've kind of navigated through all these different things to find the right, the right recipe for your business, which is awesome. So thanks so much for your time, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching guys. And, uh, Stay tuned to next time. This is Scott with Real Sync and Kai Whistle, and um, we'll see you.